couldn't wait to put the corn on the fire. Look, look at the top of look. See all the corn here there, you know, and every couldn't get off all of the hair off of the corn. So I tough to go in that pot. I may boil the pumpkin as well. See? Look at the pot of bubble. Oh the pot of bubble yeah man. Look. Pretty not you? Corn, pumpkin. Oh, look on the corn. And dumpling. What I'm gonna eat this with? I'm gonna have this with some aki and salt mackerel. So we have to Put a little bit of this so you can see. So this is the produce that I get from the allotment. Look at the lovely collection of food that I got at the allotment today. Right. You see them peas over there, sir? These are the, the purple peas and they mix with some white ones. They look like bannabis, but hey, maybe use them at my rice and peas tomorrow. They get a nice a nice cabbage, firm cabbage. Look at that, see? Cabbage. What is the corn? Look at the corns. I love corn really. I love corn so much. I'm going to take them and boil. Some of them are very hard. It's not even worth boiling. So I think I may have to um, grate some. I use some to make corn porridge. Who remember that? You use the, the, the um, not too dry corn and make the corn porridge. It's like the harmony, but a little bit, um, what should I say now? It tastes a little bit fresher, younger, you know, so uh, hard like the harmony. Because remember, the harmony corns, they use the dry one and cut them up in small pieces or soak them yes the how many now you have to soak overnight and strip it and then you know but these ones you can grate it and make corn porridge and that tastes nice oh god but yeah man we got the allotment today and we get me some love them peas there you see g them beans here me love them look there you see that look how them pretty look at that purple on it and the black one me say one year we make soup and I gave uh, a friend of mine a visit and I gave her some soup, um, some of this soup here and she never stopped talking about this soup. This peas here, that, that dark color peas here, OMG, is very, very nice. So some of these corns, when you, you know you how to know how they are hard? You feel the, the, the kernel and you can tell that this one is too hard, that one hard. We'll put them too hard for boil. So I'm gonna sift through them and see which one is able. Look at this pink piece. I try for run away. You know, you know, I get away from me. You know? No, you know, I get away from me. See that? Mm -mm. So the cabbage, me get cabbage. Nice cabbage. You see what me I talk about growing a seed. The reason why I made this video you know, is to tell you guys that it feels so rewarding when you put a seed in the ground and that seed give you a corn one seed in a year corn like this come on now mm. and one seed can potentially give you all of these peas bear in mind remember you, know, you plant one um, bean and uh, it run and bear a lot of pods and this is what you get from it so i will forever advocate you know be an advocate for growing your things naturally and organically and i saw i was watching a video earlier on where the person was talking about the three sisters where the pumpkin the corn and the bean so you can plant three things together and basically they're a comp a company <laughs> they call it um the, the you know my tongue tie up and i can pronounce so accompaniment <laughs> that's what it is so you can plant pumpkin together with companion plants then put it that way and he cooked a, um he cooked some soup so you have his corn his pumpkin and his peas so there you go so one little spot can give you two um three corn some peas and and a pumpkin and there we go. As I talk about pumpkin, there it is. We get pumpkin too. 
Yes, I'm going to cut it later on. I get pumpkin. See it there? Feel that? You get pumpkin and I get cucumber. Get cucumber. Also, not forgetting the good old potatoes. See there? Some in the world today, not you? One thing, I done very well today. I got potatoes, corns, peas, cabbages, and there is my pumpkin. And I'm going to boil up some of the corns now and I'll have that for my rice and peas tomorrow. I tell you, I went out on the road today now to go and get my uniforms. And believe me, I wasn't going into the supermarket, but when I looked, it brought back memories of COVID when people are lining up to go to the supermarket to get their stuff. Listen, they queue long for going to the car park. And all it was, I wasn't going to the supermarket. I was going to go and get my stuff from the um the buy box to get my new uniforms. And I thought, well, I'll have to just bear it all because I'm already there. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. So this bank holiday, the Queen funeral is tomorrow. R.I.P. Queen Elizabeth II. A lot of people are taking advantage of um the fact that it's a bank holiday tomorrow and they're going to stock up and cook and i mean they're celebrating her life as well because back home in, in jamaica we have the repast where we cook and do also so i think people are going to do that kind of thing you know after the funeral they probably eat in between or eat after eat before anything you know, as long as they have food and i think that's exactly what the um why the supermarket queues were so long today but what are you guys having tomorrow mm. i have some fish you know i'm gonna use that i make some rice and peas I like when me like um when peas young peas or fresh peas rather not dry peas me like fresh peas in my um when i cook use it to cook soup or you know rice and peas me like me like the taste of fresh peas fresh green peas not dry peas all right but it's like when you cook dry um fresh sorry green gungo it's the same thing in it so yes guys and guess what i did when i have nothing for you i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you look i make drops yesterday then they come out so good so that's why i'm never bother showing they're not too bad still see it there <laughs> I may drop so I can't have dropped to eat and watch the, the Queen um, funeral tomorrow. Anyway, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say thank you guys very much for tuning in and you know watching my uh, my my channel, keeping abreast of what I do and how I do it. As I said, you know, planting my um. I, you know what? Can I tell you anything before I go? You know, say potato, me not good at growing potato. Certain things are not really good at, me not good at growing, you know. So I'm not bother with it. So we we'll just leave it be. So I I will be concentrating more on my peppers. Me, pepper really agree with me. My hand grey pepper. So see, the pumpkin there. Me go cut here. Me gonna see how it look. All right, guys. Let me cut the pumpkin and show. Now, hold on. So here guys, see how the pumpkin look? It looks nice, such a like it dry. Look, you can tell say dry from the corner. You see the corner there? It dry. You see that corner? Look at that. It's got lots of seeds. Wow. I am going to have this for my dinner tonight with mackerel and aki. Salt mackerel and aki. So see my all my produce there, see them? Produce there, yeah, my peas. And shell, look, and you know, guys, when you um, the, sh the shell from this peas here is good to put back in the garden for fertilizer, so that will rotten down over the winter. So, I'm gonna do too well today. Not your corn, look at the corn, I'm pretty cucumber, my potatoes, pumpkins, nice. Yellow pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin yellow, I'm pretty natural. So that is gonna go. That is, look at that. That is going in my 
I did it tonight. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for dropping in. And I appreciate the support. Please continue to um, watch and share and press the thumbs up. Because when you press the thumbs up, it helps the video for you. know, and see if you can watch a little bit more. And uh, it look like me, I get advert too. And you can't watch a little bit of the advert. Please, me, I beg you know. See if me can get my watch time up. Thank you guys very much. My love and all to the bone. Look at that. I share it. No, I'm sorry, so I'm not kidding. No, under too far. You know, forget any of this one. But never mind. Next time. Thank you. Bye.